Hi guys, this is Betty. She's a cockapoo. She has been on the channel before. I'm just going to talk you through what I do with her head today. So she has a nice short cockapoo head to match her body. She's having, uh, it's quite a short cut, but not, not very short. So she's had a dark blue on the main body and she's had peach clipper attachment on the legs. So we're going to go ahead and make the face look nice too. Aren't we Betty? Good girl. So I'm going to start by brushing everything out. I have fluff dried her head so she's already had a bit of a brush. She's got some mats in her ears that we're just going to have to thin out. Oh, let me just chuck that first. So I'm going to pop her in the neck noose because she's got a habit of putting her head right down low when I do her ears. So I'm going to come in, I'm actually going to come in with my detangle brush. This is a brilliant brush, it's from Artero, Artero, whatever you want to call it. Oh, sniff it don't spoil your nose on it but um it's a very good detangling brush as, as you've seen from the other videos i don't very often detangle but if it's only sort of a few little bits here and there like on the ears and, and stuff like that then you know i'm quite happy to thin it out and brush it out there good girl so i'm just going in with the thinners just in the bits that i know are quite matted and i'm going to come in at the bottom as well so these thinners just take a little bit of hair at once so it's not like going in with your straights where, you know, it's going to take a big chunk of hair out. Good girl. And I'm not yanking on the ear, but you've got to be firm enough that it's actually going to, you know, actually going to brush it. Good girl. She's super good, aren't you, eh? As you can see all that that's come out of the ear, but from the outside you can't really tell. So I do get some customers that just ask me specifically just to thin the ears out, even if they're not matted, just because it makes it that little bit easier to maintain for the owner at home as well. Good girl. So we're going back through with the comb because if there's mats in there the comb will tell you whereas a brush you could brush over and, and miss it so always double checking with your metal comb go she has got a big old mat behind her ear you turn that way a little bit good girl but i'm just going to come in and use my 10 blade it's not really going to show because you know, she's got so much hair that it's going to cover it, but don't want to be tugging really at the back of the ear because that's really painful for them. You'll find quite often the dogs will have mats behind their ears, especially, you know, cockapoos or even like the double coated breeds like the Chow Tees and, and the Chow Chows, just because the collar normally sits there. So it's constantly rubbing up against it and owners quite often miss it when they're brushing at home. Good girl, that's that one done. Let's have a look on this side. You turn your bum this way. Oh, I know. There you go. Good girl. Face that way. So you're going to come straight up in. Obviously being wary of where the ear flap is, so hers are there. Because obviously you don't want to be cutting the ear there. Good girl. I have already washed her, obviously. And I have sprayed a lot of detangle, in, uh, detangle spray in her ears, so it is coming out quite easily now. Good girl, Betty. So again, just a little one behind the ear. I'm lifting the rest of it up. I don't want to go straight in when it's like that because you are going to notice the chunk then. So I'm going to lift most of the hair around it if it's not matted. And you can see there just that bit that's matted there and a little bit there. Good girl, Betty. See just how much has come out of the ears, but if you were to look at them, you wouldn't really tell. Brush through with the comb again. Now, her, she's got a very funny 
sort of the hair on her head falls really funny so if she puts her head down it pushes everything forward and she, she can't see out her eyes so we uh well the owner likes that taken really short over the top so i'm going to go in with my peach clipper attachment can you sit you sit 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 good girl so go in with the peach starting from the eyebrow sort of area back skimming down the ears a little bit just at the top to blend it in a little bit better. I will come back in with my scissors after, but you scoot forward a bit on the reaching across the table. Scoot forward. There we go. Good girl. And then again, back brushing with the brush. Good girl, Betty. And I'm going to come in with the yellow, which is one longer than the peach. And I'm going to skim the sides of her face with that. I might actually come in with the peach, but we'll see how we go. Pushing the ears back out of the way. Yeah, come in with the peach. Because that's not doing much. Good girl. But the owners do like the eyelashes long, so we've got to make sure we're not, we're not uh, clipping off those, which is easier said than done. Really, with the clippers. Personally, I would chop these off, but at the end of the day, we do what the owner likes, so. Good girl. Going on the other side. So I'm not pressing right in to get the hair because you do still want to be keeping that sort of circular shape so i'm coming round and down bending into the circle i know i know this is the ah, ah, ah. just skimming the bottom of there too Good girl. So a lot of this I'm going to have to come back in with my scissors just because her coat is awful. <laughs> Good girl. So I'm going to grab my little thinners. I'm going to come in between the eyebrows just to take some of that chunkiness out. try and separate these eyelashes. I've seen some people they've used little bits of tape to tape them out of the way which does seem like a good idea to be honest. Obviously not proper sellotape but good girl. So just thin it into the corner of the eyes. You don't want to come up too far because then you'll take too much out of there. So it's just literally the corners of the eyes. Girl. You're super good, aren't you? So with my chunkers, I'm gonna take what's just in front of the ear. Lift the ear up and again sort of follow it round. Sometimes I just come in straight away with my my curves and that takes the bulk of it off and then come back in with the thinners then just to blend it a bit better because otherwise if you use your thinners for all of it it takes forever good girl You can see when she squints it doesn't stick out so much but when she stops squinting it does stick out so it's just <laughs> it's a case of trying to catch her when she's not squinting but easier said than done i'm going to come up and thin over the nose you sort of see where it's a bit too bulky there i'm just going to come in and thin some of that down Good 
again working with the face shape so I'm not going to go straight in like that because you end up with a square moustache so I'm just going to work my way around I'm sort of beveling it into the beard then I know, stay, stay. Good girl. Taking the beard. I find it easier to do the beard before I start doing the left hand side. Don't know why. Some people are happy to do both sides, then the beard. Just see what, what you like, really. Hope you can hear me over the wind. <laughs> bits on top see now how that's coming in nicely I will double check it after because I find once they've had a shake and moved around a bit then some bits start sticking out again good girl same on the other side try and do it in the same order as I did the other side just means you're likely to get a you know similar finish then so because quite often groomers have a better side you know a side that they're better on when it comes to the head personally mine's the right hand side because I'm right handed but some people are super, super good and can do it amazingly both sides <laughs> we're working on it good girl look at these eyelashes I'm going to trim that side a little bit because they're slightly shorter than the other side. Excuse the noise. So again, coming back round. looking at the bits that you know obviously sticking out and comparing it to the other side as well I find if I lift it up I can normally see these bits don't know if you can see good girl obviously not yanking the head up but it's quite often you can see if it's wonky then or not oh, good girl you'll be a better should we get your treat there you go good girl let's have a little look can you sit again good girl Wait, wait, wait. So you can see now, even just that two second bit, there's a lot of uh, hair that wasn't there before sticking out. So there's a lot of rechecking her head. Good girl, Betty. Again, you can look from the top. It's looking at it from all angles, really, because there's going to be bits you miss if you're just looking at it straight on and the same, you know, for the side. So, making sure you're looking in different directions at the head and you're letting them move around a bit. And sometimes I find if you put them on the floor once you've done it or once you think you're done as well, you'll quite often see a couple bits that you've missed. It's just that different perspective, really. Good girl. Let's have a little look. Double check these bits. Oh, you can give me kisses, that's nice. Can I have your beard a minute? Good girl. So blending at the back of the head now, making sure it blends into the body nicely. I mean, I have just taken the, obviously it was peach on the head and she's got dark blue on the body, so there's not much difference in length, but you can obviously still tell, so we want to blend it in nicely. Good girl. Side. Good girl. I'm just going to come in with the dark blue somewhere. No, I'm not. Put it away. 
just to get these bits right at the very back. Good girl. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just to trim the ears. I am going to trim them up a little bit shorter than I would normally for her, just because they obviously were so matted this time. We don't want that to happen again. I come in with my long curves, fill where the ear ends. Just come in. I like to just do a little curve. Some people like the straight bottomed ear. I'm not really a fan of that. I find it makes it look a little bit sort of too bobby, but good girl. It has it, it has its place, I suppose. And you'll find when you put the ear down and look from the front, you can sort of see where there's some little bits sticking out on the inside because obviously they've obviously got all that hair on the inside there. Quite often I do sort of use a template to skim that down on cockapurias, but I don't for her. Good girl. Same on the other side. If you look from the front, it'll give you sort of a nice indication as to where to start. Good girl. Constantly checking where the end of that ear is. It's just a game of match of the year up. <laughs> Good girl. I'm going to come in behind these eyelashes and do it from this direction as well. So here she is all finished. As you can see, nice little short head, matches the body. But yeah, she's been super good. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. What a good girl.